Okay, guys. So today we um, a Marvel showing movies tier list. We have all of these Marvel movies and shows. Some of them I have not watched. There's only like about three or four one of these that I have not watched. Um, and that's so yeah. Let's okay. get started in the Marvel shows and movies tier list. So we have the best at top. Super good, good, okay, bad, really bad, and don't watch. So first, Civil War, I mean, do I really have to say anything? It's super good. It's not the best, but it's super good. Iron Man and Captain America fighting each other. The final fight scene, the fight scene at the airport was good. You can't really put anything worse than okay or, you know. Now, Avengers 1, I'd say it's good. Maybe not... I, I want to put in between super good and good because it is like the Avengers like teaming up for the first scene. It's kind of nostalgic, but it is a good movie. Avengers Age of Ultron. I think it is... Don't watch. No, I'm kidding. It's good. I think it is underrated, but it is good. It has one of the most underrated villains of all time. Avengers Infinity War. Guys... We all know where this is going, okay? Like, uh, no, I'm kidding. It's, it is one of the best Marvel films. It has one of the best action. Every single, like, hero was there. And, like, the villain was awesome. Now, this may be a hot take. But we're putting this above Infinity War. This is not, like in order, you know, but, like, Endgame was just better. Like, to me. It's probably a very controversial to take. Um, it's just Iron Man, you know, dying. The the time travel, like, all of the things, like, leading up to it, it's just awesome. Guardians of the Galaxy 1. Okay, this may be a hot take, but I think it's okay. I don't think it's super good. But, you know what? Not nah, it's good. I mean, I like the second one better. So, I think this one is really good. I like the villain, the action, the set, the soundtrack, the cinematography, everything. Really good. Ant-Man, I think the first one is okay. I mean, it isn't bad. It isn't good. It's just okay. Because, I mean, the hero was okay. The villain was meh. But, yeah. This is bad. Really, really bad. The hero was okay. The, the side character was meh. The villain was horrible and there was really no action. Other than that, it's kind of bad. Doctor Strange, I think it is super good. Uh, I think it is... I think this is like one of the best heroes in the MCU. Good villain, good hero, and good acting cinematography. Super good. Iron Man 1. Now, this is maybe also a hot take, but I think this is one of the best ones as well. You know, no, 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 no. Top of super good. Because, I mean, it's just, I love Iron Man. The acting, the cinematography at that time, the villain, really underrated villain, the hero, everything was like almost perfect. Homecoming, now, I do think people overrate it a little bit, but I think it is good. I don't really, the biggest downfall of it is probably the villain for me. I just did not like the villain. He seemed kind of weak, maybe, but I Tom Holland is my favorite Spider-Man. Now, this is probably one of the most underrated movies of all, Marvel movies of all time. This movie is really good. I liked Mysterio in this movie. Spider-Man was good. He wasn't like really Iron Boy Jr. I don't know why people keep calling him that. I mean, I kind of know why. But like, this really helped him out a lot. And this, like, it's just really good. Like, how could you not like it? I, I don't understand how people don't like it. And now, Spider-Man Away Home. The best one. I mean, to me, it's the best Marvel movie of all. It's just 20 years of character development because of Toby, Andrew, Green Goblin there, Doctor Strange, 
cinematography is just really good. The action, the plot, it, it's it's too good, dude. It, it's just too good. We're gonna have to speed this up. Black Panther, super good. Um, it, it, it is one of one of the best Marvel heroes. Really good villain. Great action and plot. Just really good. I'm not even gonna explain. I hate the superhero. I can't even remember the villain. And they made the villain so much weaker than the hero. She knocked him out in like two minutes or something. This is really bad. I literally fell asleep in this. I fell asleep. The action was bad. The plot, bad. The story, bad. The villain, bad. This movie's not good. Shang-Chi, it, it's, it's super good, dude. It like... Honestly, this movie is really good. It's one of really good hero. It, it the introduction to it, the cinematography really good. Um, the villain I I loved. The story, the action, and the plot really really good. Eternals. I've actually not seen this. Um, my mom like couldn't even watch it. One Vision. I've not seen the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I'm not seen, but I'm watching it. Iron Man Two. I think this is a good Marvel movie. If not. Or an okay, if not good. I want to put it in between. I didn't really like the villain. That's probably the biggest one. And the action was mm, okay. But I think it was a good story movie. Loki. I actually just finished today. I If I didn't finish it, I'd probably say bad. But after watching it, I'd say good. I liked it. I think it's a... Hawkeye is underrated. I think it is also good. What if... Mm, I I couldn't finish it. I tried so hard. I was like episode 3 and I I just couldn't. Moon Knight is really good. I, I love the hero. Um, the acting and the villain was good. I, I just really liked it overall. Dude, this is one of the... Also, another one of the most underrated Marvel movies of all. Iron Man 3 was so good, like, the hero was good, the action, the plot, like, and in the final scene, how all the things, like, it's so good. Incredible Hulk, I think it's bad. I mean, the Hulk was good, but, like, other than that, it was kind of bad. Thor 1, I think it's bad. It, it didn't really, like... Mm, I don't know. They they made Loki kind of like as if like he was better than Thor kind of. Um, but I just didn't really like Thor at all. And there's Moon. This one, dude. Do I? I'm not even gonna explain. Okay, I will. But bad villain. Thor was, eh. But like the story, the plot, and the action was horrible. Thor Ragnarok. I think this is overrated. But I do think it's top of good. It is a good movie. You know what? It's super good. Um, Captain America 1, I think it's okay. I mean, I didn't really like... I hated the villain. He's not good. The story was... Eh. The Winter Soldier, I do think it is overrated as well. It's a good... It's a good... Um, what's it called? Marvel movie, but like, come on now. Dude, you can't just like do these things. Last two... Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, when I first watched it, I was like, dude, this thing is, like, the best. Like, one of the best Marvel movies. But now I'm like, okay, okay, th this is a good film. It's not super good, but it's a good Marvel film. And now last, I have not seen Miss Marvel either. And now last, but not least, Thor Love and Thunder. I also said this was one of the best Marvel films, but I just think it's a super good film. And this is my tier list, guys, of Marvel movies and shows. If you liked this tier list and you would like to see more tier lists of, like, Stranger Things characters, Marvel characters, or, like, anything, um, then just comment down below. I'm sorry I've not been posting. I'm trying to get back into it. And I will see y'all guys in the next one. Peace.